I look about the waterfalls, you feel relaxed, you never think about anything else. Your mind is just there. My name is Diana Monica. I'm 18 years old. I'm proud to be a girl because I know that the challenges are maybe many and the blessings bigger. For us girls, in the family we are seen like we are, we are not that important. The boys are highly valued. I want my daughter to have more what I have in life because I didn't reach where I expected to reach because my family, but because I know the need for education. I want my daughter to learn to the highest. I've taught for over 30 years. It gave me a lot of experiences. I understand very well what girls go through to get education. My name is Angela. I am 15 years old. I stay with my grandmother. When I, I, I got married, I gave birth to girls, 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 my husband refused me. Oh. Because in Kenya, girls are not working so much. In our family, no, nobody has reached university. And when I look at Angela, I see something good. I usually wake up at four. I study up to five. Then I clean the house. I take my books and then I come to school. Most of our students come from far like 10 kilometers. So the time the girl is getting to school, already that girl is tired. You don't uh, impact on her positively. Her minds are not in class. She's tired and she's thinking of how again she'll be going back home. Very many of our children in school, especially high schools, use motorcycle to go to schools. Most of the drivers are actually very young men. And w looking for young girls, looking for young girls. Are you going to school? Yes. Come and sit. And when she drops her there at school, says, keep your money. That I'll be guarding you free. I want you to be my friend. As a mother, I was fearing for Diana so much. In the evenings, especially when it gets late, I would get so much worried because I don't know now where she is. I've heard so many stories. Those motorcycle men, they cheat students, they rape other students when they find you on the way alone. When she came, she told me, I'm one of those who have been chosen to get a bicycle. We really started clapping our hands, shouting, Woo! God is good! God is good! Now, my granddaughter has a bicycle. Nobody will stop her. Nobody. The girls are able to get in school early in the morning. They are no longer tired. Then she's able to put her mind in class. And therefore, we have seen the enrollment of girls going up. To some, it was a taboo. It's only a man who can get on a bicycle and, and rise. But I think as many of them get the courage to get on to the bicycle and ride to school, and it is like a liberation. I have seen something bad in my life. My husband was not happy with me because of giving birth to girls. I want any girl to be someone great. That when my husband, where he is, he may hear girls are doing something good and they are important people in this world. And when I see Angela doing good like this, I feel it. What a man can do, a woman can do. I plan that I go to the university, I can go outside, abroad and study, so that I may come back here in Kenya and help my fellow Kenyans. 
I will open an orphanage to sponsor any children who want to work hard. I dream to live a very good life. I like to be a role model for other girls. My advice for girls who are facing challenges is, is that they should not give up. When you give up in life, it's like you are, you are not living it.